professional is your dentist? So nearly a thousand dental patients in Oklahoma forced to undergo tests for HIV and hepatitis after their dentist was accused of using rusty tools and improper sterilization techniques. And we asked local dentists and health officials what red flags you need to look out for when you're making that visit to the dentist's office. Jennifer Awe is on your side tonight getting you answers. Well, Roland Michelle, it's a visit that most people dread, going to the dentist's office. And many are too nervous to be looking around and being observant. However, one local dentist says that's exactly what people should do. After the latest health scare at an Oklahoma dentist's office, we're taking a closer look here at home. The State Board of Dentistry inspects all dentist offices in Idaho to make sure the staff follows all hygiene regulations. The board conducts random office inspections mm -hmm. every year. They're primarily looking for sterilization, infection control, uh, medical emergency equipment and drugs. They're checking licenses to make sure everyone has the current license on site. But here's the catch. The board randomly selects only 60 to 70 Idaho dental offices each year out of thousands. There's not a lot of oversight into everything that we do. and Unfortunately, it's left up to individual practitioners to make sure that they're doing their due diligence. Experts say if there's a problem, in most cases, someone comes forward. The thing that's surprising about the Oklahoma case to me is that it was ongoing for several years that someone didn't see something or a staff member didn't come forward. Dr. William Wolf at Bright's Mouth Dental Care in Nampa showed us the sterilization room where all of the tools are cleaned. Sterilization where you put it in a cavitron, it shakes it and gets all of the debris off of it. After that, the tools are rinsed and then sealed in special bags. And the sterilizer will, is an autoclave, so it brings up to a certain temperature and up to a certain pressure. Dr. Wolf says the bags change color when the machine successfully kills all of the germs. He says it's also important for patients to be observant. Look for a clean set of tools when you walk in. Every patient you put on new, new gloves, new masks, look at, around at the general cleanliness of the office. According to Dr. Wolf, it should be a major red flag if you see debris or rust on the tools. And if you have any concerns, file a complaint with the Idaho State Board of Dentistry. And we have a direct link to the form on our website. Just go to IdahoOnYourSide.com and look under News and then Links. Health experts also say if you're concerned, don't be afraid to ask questions and talk to the dentist about their sterilization process. Most would be happy to show you their equipment and how the process works. Live in the studio, I'm Jennifer Aw, Fox 9 on your side.